All right, everybody, start to shut up. Let's go ahead and wrap up your current sentences and get yourselves to a quiet place. Mr. Griffin, Dan is in my seat. Okay, I didn't even know it was his. You added me to this weird class and now I don't know what's going on. Calm down, calm down. Let's, let's don't be so rule-minded. No point in your adult lives will you ever have assigned seats, besides airplanes. And jury duty. If I've already undercut myself, don't add to it, okay? As you all know, this week we are devoting our attention to the psychological dismantling of my academic rival, Miles Leonard. Miles happens to be British. He also happens to be adopted. So, this week we will practice and perfect British accents. And whosoever is best will call him, posing as his biological birth mother, who he's never met, and tell him some sort of devastating secret. Any questions? Mr. Griffin, are you seriously never gonna teach us biology at all? Sure, Sarita. Maybe uh, Pablo Picasso can come in and teach driver's ed. Guys, I am a published Harvard philosophy professor. I have no interest whatsoever in teaching biology to you people, okay? So drop it. It's a pretty sweet deal on the table. Play ball, get an A. Come on, let's make this easy. I'm just, I'm just trying to cope through a year in Toledo with its miserable excuse for espresso. Put your hand down. Next words I hear out of you better be in a British accent. The bookstore at the mall has good espresso, my lord. Hey, not bad. Looks like Anthony's out to an early lead. Nice. Let's open it up. Yeah, remember, British, female. Hurtful. Go. Okay, what is this class? <sighs> this is my sanctuary. I was kicked out of the bookstore. I tried to explain to the manager that their staff pick was feel-good, softcore nonsense. Yeah, you know, I happened to gesture with my coffee hand, you know, splashed a couple measly drops on the guy. He starts throwing the word scalded around. You've scalded me! And yeah, next thing I know, this large calf tyrant has his troop of baboons forcibly eject me. So, new plan. British accents weren't exactly taken off anyway. We will now focus on taking down the miles display. You will infiltrate the store by getting jobs there and changing the staff pick, thereby giving me some semblance of sanctuary in this chilly dump of a town. Did Miles do something to you? Did he get you fired from Harvard? No, Miles just has this, um, you know, he, he, he's like, he, he, you know those people, that, like, he wears scarves indoors, you know what I mean? When he smiles, it's like, eh, you know, you just wanna, it's just, eh. You know, he's like one of those people. Look, do I need to go on, or are you guys getting this? Couldn't you just find a sanctuary in a different part of the store? That seems easier than lashing out. Does everyone hear him the way I do? The grating tone? That's gonna be fatal in a job interview, bud. Mr. Griffin, we can't get jobs. Yes, you can. Look, it's easy. You, you, a couple of you get in, you flip the pick, and then quit for all I care. I mean, look, it's a minimum wage job. You know, these things are designed to be revolving door. So, who here has ever been on a job interview? Once, my grandma asked me to help her dig onions in the yard. Okay, we're gonna need some practice. Hello. Hey, sorry to interrupt you. It's uh, Principal Durbin from work. Uh, I was hoping to see you in my office when you have a moment. How's now? How's, well, <laughs> you're teaching a class, you can't Literally mean now. I'm on my way. What you... Heather, I want you to take over for me, okay? I want you to mock interview all these people. You guys are gonna do great. Just need a little work. It's gonna work. <laughs> 